Well, as you can see, I've continued to uh, modify and, and refine my wash-in. Still pretty rough, that's fine. Uh, what I'm going to do now, though, is I'm going to use, I think, yellow ochre, burnt sienna, and some cad yellow pale and white. And I'm going to carve in the sky. And I'm calling that carving it in because, you know, the sky serves as, um, well, there's some design in it, but really it, it's going to serve to show off the trees, the treetops. So I'm carving around the treetops and in doing so I'm actually painting the treetops by carving the sky. Well, you know, um, the shapes I think are, are, are good now. Uh, I'm a little concerned about the idea that we have these horizontal lines and th this area is nice. You know, if I were to if I were to make okay, it, this is going to be kind of a line. Make an imaginary line here. Is that good? No, that's not good. Let me just find a, something to block that line off with. If the painting that I'm making were from here to here, that'd be good. This would be a very interesting area. But it's not. I have to always bear in mind that this painting as a whole needs to balance itself off without being perfectly balanced. You don't want a coffee table with a ceramic cougar on one end and another ceramic cougar, uh, cougar on the other end balancing each other off. That gets pretty kitschy. You never want the perfect balance. So. I don't know if I'm articulating this very well, but uh, so I'm looking at this. I like it, but I think that what I have to do is this has to be the strength. This has to balance the strength, but only in a minor kind of way. So um, what I'm going to do, and I know it's a bit of a bugger. I mean, it's it's. You, you kind of hate to do this because, yeah, you've gone through the work of washing things in, etc., etc. Uh, but you've got to do what you have to do for the painting, for the sake of the painting, right? Is that too... No, that'll work. Okay, so let's just shave off the top of that bush. That's a bit... That's a bit... It's a bit red. Too much talking, not enough thinking. Okay. So we're going to shave that off. It's too red. It's okay. I'm going over everything anyway. Um, So that at least lets your eye off the right hand side of the painting and diminishes the importance of this mass of structure and allows this mass of structure to become more important. Uh, the drama will actually occur here because we'll have the highest values and, and chromas sort of in this area. Uh, I don't want that be to be, you know, uh, competing with anything else. All right, now let me just add a little red to this. Oh, that's a bit too bright. Okay, distant shoreline there. Good enough for now.
See, so this is still pretty interesting, but it's not competing with this. This will be heavy, strong, dramatic. This should be complementary to that, but not competing with that. Um, no, I'm just going to take, well, actually, for the wash-in, I don't need to take any more of these watercolors, which I've made a little greener than they were, and cut into that. I can do that later. I'm pretty happy now with the overall sort of structure of things.
So the general shapes are carved in now. Um, started to get the feeling of a goal post and another goal post with a view in between them. Um, that'll go away as the painting develops. The beginning of that process was cutting the top of the foliage off of this tree. So this tree doesn't go, you know, the trunk doesn't go clear off the top of the canvas. This will be more important. But there's still a lot of mass here and I need to think about where I'm going to uh, paint in the negative space to try to break that up a little bit. Make it a little bit more of a delicate and not such a rock solid uh, muscular looking tree. So I'll play with that.